Antonio Aguilar, very funny dude. Antonio. Uh, sorry, I'm not nine years old. <laughs> Following a nine year old, girl, usually a bad idea. <laughs> I'm from Wisconsin, so I drink a lot. I drink before I do anything, to be honest. The only thing I do sober is drink. <laughs> I've, I've never met Alcoholics Anonymous. I have done Anonymous Alcoholics. And it's where you get real fucked up, you go out, you don't tell anyone your name. For a two-step plan. Speaking of drunks, I was in Rockford, Illinois, and Rockford voted Taco Bell best Mexican restaurant. I know, how drunk do you have to be as a city, right? And they didn't just put it in the local newspaper, they put it on a billboard, put that billboard on the highway so America could see Taco Bell. Say Rockford, good, you know, like, but uh, Taco Bell's all right, you know, when you're done getting drunk and you're ready to get sick. But that's it, you know, there's nothing to vote for, right? It's not. The Taco Bell by my apartment, they remodel it to make it look more authentic, to make it look like it's actually in Mexico. They gave the security guard a machine gun. And now it's just like Mexico. It's a very dangerous Taco Bell. It's really not worth the chalupa, to be honest, it's not. Mexico's dangerous. They did the real world in Mexico, but they didn't do it in real Mexico. They did it in Cancun. Imagine if they would have done it in, I don't know, Juarez. Seven strangers picked up and thrown into a van. Find out what happens when the kidnappers stop being polite. Start getting real, it's the real world. Juarez, it's like 15 minutes long. It's a terrible idea for a show. It's really hard to get advertising. Speaking of Latino kidnappers, I was in Cleveland. And Cleveland, I wasn't prepared for Cleveland because they don't have Mexicans there. And I checked, I checked, I went to Applebee's. <laughs> I looked in the kitchen, there are no Mexicans in Cleveland. They don't believe in them. And uh, this lady in the front row yells out, hey, we got some. And I Googled it, there are 3,000 Mexicans in Cleveland, that's like four picnics, that's not a lot of Mexicans. <laughs> Nothing to interrupt the show for it, man. My friends from a small town, she said she was at a party. There were a lot of Mexicans there. I was like, okay, Brittany, how many Mexicans? It's a lot of Mexicans to you. She said there were nine Mexicans. I was like, nine Mexicans? That's like an average amount of Mexicans. That's not even a sedan full. <laughs> Barely a smart car is worth, right? I'm half white. Half Hispanic, so you can call me a honky, just don't pronounce the H. <laughs> you got it? All right. <laughs> Congrats, that's good. All right, um, you can spell it with a J if you really want to. Right? Like, if you're determined to be racist. <laughs> I speak Spanish, which means I'm like three bong hits away from understanding Portuguese. <laughs> That's been tested and proven. That's actually how you learn Portuguese. I don't know if you know that. Rosetta Stone, Rosetta Stone. Okay. Anyone else smoke weed? All right. Anyone wake and bake today? Yeah. I think waking and baking would be a lot less acceptable if it didn't rhyme. It's real catchy, right? Your roommate's up 6 a.m. You're like, hey man, why are you up so early? I'm just waking and baking. Okay, whatever, man, cool. Do you live your life? That sounds like it's fine, right? It's a lot different. Your roommate's up at 6 a.m. You're like, hey, man, why are you up so early? Oh, I'm gonna start my day off with drugs. <laughs> you're like, damn, Keith, don't you have a job, man? You gotta make rent this month, man. I'm sick of this bullshit. Maybe you should just wake and bake. You ever think about that? <laughs> Congress is debating whether or not we should drug test people in unemployment. I think that sounds fair, right? Maybe that's why they're unemployed, too much waking and baking. What I don't think is fair is that we drug test people that have jobs, 
Because if you're stoned out of your mind at work, you're doing a great job, nobody can tell, it's good for you. That's awesome. You're living the dream, man. A woman, stone person, that's great, right? What I, what I, if we, should, we should probably just drug test everyone at the workplace, and whoever is on the most drugs gets a promotion. Because they are obviously not being challenged enough. <laughs> Hold on a second, you're telling me that Tim has been bagging groceries this whole time on PCP? That is amazing! <laughs> he is the future of this company, get him in my office ASAP. So I'm Peruvian, which is like Mexican, minus the work ethic. That's really it. That's... Being Peruvian means that if I go to a pet store to buy a guinea pig, they'll ask me if I'm Peruvian. Because in Peru, guinea pigs are considered food. I actually have to lie to the cashier and tell her I'm Mexican just so I can buy a guinea pig to take home and eat. Like, it's not fair. <laughs> kind of bullshit. Kind of bullshit for the guinea pig, right? It's bullshit. In Peru, they call guinea pigs cooey because they make this noise. It's really cute. They go right before you smash their head with a rock. That's a real world Peru, you guys. I'm sorry, man. I'm just. I know it's gross, but it's funny though, you know. What I mean? It's gross, but it's funny. Shame on me. That's a joke, really. That's a joke. Way worse jokes than that. You have a keep it clean for Austin right now. So, that's, so um, what is good for liberal arts, also known as customer service. Anyway. <laughs> Study political science, so I'm really good at interviews. <laughs> not actually good at the job. Like I can get elected, might not finish my term, right? <laughs> I was in a group interview, and uh, the lady asked us if we could be any fictional character, who would we be? And the other guy, he said Batman. Like, Batman, the one superhero with no superpowers? Like, great choice, moron. You can't hire this guy. Right? <laughs> on top of that, on top of that, not very fond of your parents, are you? <laughs> All right, a moment of silence for the Waynes, that's fine. That's fine. It's my turn. If I could be any fictional character, who would I be? That's easy. I'll be God. Wait, oh shit, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think that through before I answered that. She didn't like that answer, but uh, I don't think I want to be a Sunday school teacher anyway. Probably not for me, man. I want to be a film director. By film, I mean porn. By director, I mean star. I'm not there yet, but I mean, I would like to be. I don't see how, how do they pay male porn stars? Like, shouldn't that be just... Like, that's the payment, like, that's it, that's, there you go, right, I mean, I'd be a really cheap porn star, you guys, I'd be like a discount porn star, my, my porn name would be like TJ Maxx, with, with three X's though, right, my clothes would be half off, right, I got my idea for my first porn movie, it's an all Asian feature, Hi Cooch. <laughs> Apparently that's a good title. That's good. <laughs> now the first scene has five girls. <laughs> and the second scene has seven girls. And I hope Austin know what haiku is, because if not, this joke's not gonna work. I feel that. Front row knows what a haiku is. I love it. That's awesome, man. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, right. You don't know what haiku is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You should yell at her. <laughs> Who remembers fifth grade anyway, right? That's... <laughs> haiku, 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 poem, poem, poetry, 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 book, book. I was at the public library. It's a good segue, I know, uh, but. I was in the public library, also known as the uh, Homeless Internet Oasis. Yeah, we're going there. A lot of homeless people on Facebook at the library. What are homeless people doing on Facebook? Were they poking their friends for food? Like, hey man, can I get a sandwich, a couple bucks? I've been poking you all day, man. What's the status update gonna be? Homeless, I'm not gonna like that. I'll share it. That's it, but what up? We all got like that one 
Facebook friends, like too preachy, like the really preachy Christian Facebook friends, always talking about Jesus and make believe. <laughs> this is how you handle the really preachy Christian Facebook friend: is you unfriend them and then you tell them, "Hey, just because you don't see me." <laughs> me on your friends list, it doesn't mean I'm not there. I'm everywhere. And I love you. Have faith, Grandma. Keep it going for yourselves. Keep it going for your hosts. Keep it going for your bartenders, Mario. And uh, thanks for having me. Come to Wisconsin sometime. Watch me break this. I'm Antonio Comedy on Twitter if you have Twitter. Get drunk. All right, thank you. That's Antonio.